Hello everyone, welcome to a new series that I'm starting for 2024 and it is um, going to be all about using the embellishments we made on the 11th or any other time. Um, I am going to be using the ones we made, I made four embellishments on the 11th. So if you didn't see that, you might want to go watch that first and I'll try and put a card or something up here but it should be one of the last videos that I did. I also, not these, but I have this whole little basket full of embellishments from 2023, maybe some before that, but um, some of them were like for a Twinchies collab, which I did a couple months. Some were just other embellishments I made. So there may be, I'm not gonna guarantee there'll be more than one of these videos a month, but I'm gonna try um, because I need to use this stuff and make it into something, cards or something else. So for the ones for January's embellishments, I am going to be making cards and I have pulled out things <laughs> to use. This is a piece of that recollections paper pad that I'm trying to use up in blushing something. Mm. Blush Romance. And this is a piece out of the design paper pad that I'm trying to use and that was called Blossoming Butterflies I think. Hang on. Uh, butterfly Blooms. I was close. <laughs> and um, I cut a whole sheet of this because it was one of those papers that has designs all around the edges and actually that is what this scrap had come off of too. So I thought it would go well but and um, it's a little much and I ended up not using it for any of the, this piece, this paper for any of these cards. I'll use them for other cards or something. So this is what I'm thinking, although I think it looks kind of bare up here. Now I did bring in washi tapes, all kind of washi tapes. I have this one, this polka dot one, um, and these. But I don't know if I'm going to like any of that with the card. So maybe I'll just leave the space and put more of these little embellishments were out of, which were out of the all to new pack. I think that's the plan. This is a top fold. It's going to be a top fold card. So let's just go ahead and get started. Let me see something. I have this all to new washi. <laughs> No, it's too much. It's too much. I just, I can't. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this down. This is cut. This is an A2. It's cut on the long side. Sorry, it's four and a quarter by five. Um, I'm sorry, by 11. Scored at five and a half. And then this piece should be five and a quarter tall by four and by four. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Might be a little off. I don't know. I think it's pretty close to that. <laughs> uh, my trimmer, I don't know what it is, but I had to trim down these card bases a little bit even after I did them in the my main big trimmer. I'm not convinced it's working well for me. So anyway, this little piece of um, toile is going to bug me because it's going to stick outside the card. So I'm going to take this tape runner, which I had to mark sticky side because it's identical on both sides and I always had to test it and I thought, well, that's a pain in the, pain in the neck. I'm just going to try and push that over before I glue this down because I don't really want it hanging off the edge of the card. It's not going to stay. So those little bits there that are frayed are going to get cut. I'm going to hang, hold it over my trash bin. Sorry. It's down below me because I don't want all those little things on my mat because if I do that, they will be hard to get up. Okay, now let's glue this down and then put a few more embellishments on. I'm not going to do the insides of the cards on this video. I'll do them. Usually it's either just a strip of the paper or well, the bow is going to hang off too a little bit. So I'm covering up some of the flowers under there. But the butterfly shows and it looks like the turtle's looking at the butterfly. So I thought that worked out okay. Right? 
different shades of pinky purple, purpley pink and greens. Um, and then I guess we can just put a few of these. The ones I had used were these. Let me get my picky one of these tool things. Close my glue up so it doesn't dry up. Um, we could use a big one actually, because why not? Maybe I could have them spraying down like this. Um, yeah, a big, a medium, and a small. Let's see if that spacing looks good. A little bit off, but it's not too bad. I think that's all I'm going to do on that one. So that's the first card. Not terribly, but it sort of looks like a ray of sun coming down. I could go do another one here and there. Or I don't know. I'm going to just leave it. And then inside, I'm probably going to just do a piece of white card because this is not the thickest paper. It's um, how many? Let's see if it tells me on here. It is... Hmm. Textured cardstock doesn't, I don't see the weight on it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I don't see the weight, but it's recollections. I'm guessing it's like 65 pounds. It doesn't really say. Sorry. And I'm going to leave this out because we'll probably need it again. So that's card number one. Card number two, I had a little problem when I was trying to plan this because this little piece <laughs> sticks out too far. So if I tried to do it on a card like this, this was too long, the tag. So I got out a five by seven card base, which is from um, Joanne's Park Lane, just a white card base. They're not any heavier than those other cards. I don't know why I feel it has to be heavy and I'm not loving that it has a little, oops, a little nib thing sticking out here. Hang on. It looks like they were you know, like perforated together, but they, uh, when I got them, they're separated, but they were all like flat like this and you fold them. They were scored. So this is a piece of the um, bl butterfly blooms paper and then I have this whole little oops sorry shoe box full of um, doilies all kinds of doilies and I forget about them so we're gonna play with white and this is a huge doily from I got a yard sale or something this pink one I think was from um, when Joann's had Miss Sparkle and Company, I have packs of them in here in different colors, mostly white, black, and whatever. That's not glued down yet. So I thought I'd put the white one around. It does have some hearts on it in here, so I don't really want to cover them up. Um, and I'm going to put this down before I put this on my card base. So let's, because I just felt like it was too much. If I just have this, it's too much, right? too much pink on pink um, but we're gonna glue this down a couple of these aren't popped out all the way though let's pop some of these out pop them out pop 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 some of them won't matter because they're gonna be cut off okay glue I am gonna use my wet glue you can use any wet glue this is pretty thin obviously it's a doily and I go wherever there's not openings and just I'm going to glue about to here. Let me put a line down the middle and I'll see if that's far enough. And if not, I'll put more glue on. There, a little bit on there. Okay, let's try that and see a little bit on here. I think that's going to be enough to here like that I see the line of glue so that's helping right here a 
can you see there were some other little dots not popped out it's all good so then I'm going to just cut off the excess on that in a minute but before I do that let's put this one down too yeah you get to see part of the hearts all right so this one is about to this right here <laughs> see this is an exact science right no not the way dad does it <laughs> now if i go across that would be right about here i think that's gonna work and if not i'll add more glue you don't want a whole lot i'm kind of just getting that in where those grooves are so i got it a little off i think oops but it's okay because we're going to cut that off too so now i'm going to actually crease this a little bit bend it over and crease it so i kind of make sure i know that i have it right and i'm going to get out bigger scissors longer ones that i also use for paper crafting these are fiskars i've had them for a while i don't even know where i got them they might have been my mom's i'm not sure they might have been mine. I have a sewing machine and sewing box too. And I think I might have got them out of there. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember those things. They're definitely not. Um, I probably ought to get those non stick ones from Tim Holtz someday. Now, I will not throw this out. I don't know if I'm going to use it for any other cards today, but I certainly will save it. Okay. That's, there we go. And then this has a little tool on the background and stuff, and I was just going to put this here, or I was thinking I could put a um, strip of washi down over here. Let me just try it and hope that I had already pulled some of this off. This little thin washi just like maybe maybe right along the edge actually let me see if I like that and then I could put this right up against there yeah I think it gives it another little pop of green because there's not much green I'm going to use those same scissors because I blocked where my other ones are. And I might have to glue. Um, oops. Where the washi ends. I'm not sure yet. All right, let's bring in our card base. That's not on straight because I can see it from the back. So. We're going to fix that, hopefully. Should have done that before I pulled it off. Pull, before I um, cut it off, I mean. Yeah, that's better. All right, I think it'll be all right. Okay, let's glue this down. So this is a five by seven panel. It's an A seven size card and the panel huh um oh i cut i just cut it to five by seven i see it's a little tiny long i think i mean wide and there's a piece of doily popping out yeah let me bring my trimmer in and just there's just a little bit hanging over, not much. I wish I had my, my guillotine was a little bigger. I just have that little one from Stampin' Up. Yeah, I'm gonna use scissors. <sighs> guillotine works best for little strips like that and that it, there was nothing really hanging over up here, just down this way. So I guess it's either cut crooked or I don't know. Or I glued it down crooked. Who knows? There's a little bit up here, but not barely a sliver. 
And there's a little bit on top too. I'm not going to worry about that one because it's only partial. <sighs> Slivers. Sliver wivers. Ooh, what did I do there? Oh, when I cut it, I pulled the paper somehow. Ah. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> so that's that. And then, hmm, do we want to pop this up? Now I'm going to be bothered by that little bit of pink there. Where's my... I'm going to just take this little alcohol marker. Maybe that'll look even weirder. I don't know. That was um, Bubble Bath by Stampin' Up. If I move that over a little bit, that'll cover it. That's what I'll do instead of bumping it right up against there. All right, I'm just going to glue this down, all of it. And then that will be our second card. And this will help hold the tool in place. <laughs> I have bits of tool and stuff all over my fingers. That's the only thing I don't like about tool. Well, it sort of serves still. Hmm. Not too bad, though. Okay. There's our 5 by 7 I might have to put a block on here to hold it for a little while. Because this is already, the turtle is already bumped up. Now, I never did find my other little turtle. If I find it, I could, um, like, put it over here or something. Or, yeah. Or down here, like, coming off the plants here. I maybe should have put this down a little lower because that's sticking out the top, but I think it'll be fine. I can just cut that off, actually, and I'll do that later because I don't want to have those little bits everywhere. Now, what I'll do on the inside for this is probably, I don't know if I have another piece of this paper, but I'll um, maybe I'll go around a piece of white card with uh, a marker, to, a little pink marker or something. Um, or I can just put some washi in there, but it's a little thin, so I'll probably just put another piece of white card in there, either with a strip of paper, if I find, you know, one big enough to put in there, or um, washi or something. All right, card two, done. Let's move along to card three. Back to A2. This is that same background paper. This is like the first card. It's the Recollections um, Blush Romance. This is the design paper, Butterfly Blooms. And it's um, peeling a little bit right there. Hmm. And I'm just, I was thinking of putting either a green or a white mat behind that. Hang on. I do have some soft succulent card here, which is the best match I found of that green in there. I think I will do that. So let me trim this down to five and an eighth by four and an eighth. This is five and a half, I believe. Five and an eighth. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's actually just the right, just the right width. Four and an eighth would be a little much, actually. Hmm. What size is this? Three and three quarter? Yeah. So actually, then. Hmm. Hmm. Things that make you go. Hmm. I only want about as much border as I have on the sides, on the on the top and bottom. So only about an eighth of an inch past here. So that it's about at four. Yeah, I'm going to cut it to four. 
and I'll save this piece for something else we might need it for. <laughs> All right, now let's try that. I think I wanted a little more of the green to show, but, and this one's going to open this way um, because of how the sentiment is. And if I wasn't really trying to use up paper so bad, um, and I think I'll angle that. I think that's what I'm going to do right there. Oops, I'm up I'm up too far. All right, let me glue things down. First this. Yeah. Okay, pull it up. I slid it accidentally too far. A little bit more over that way. I think that'll do it. It's down a little low. No, it's stuck now. I'll put that big part at the bottom. Okay. Let's glue that down. The sides are okay, but yeah. I am not very good about getting stuff on straight. And let's see if we can get it on a little straighter on here. <laughs> a little over, a little over. It'll it'll be fine. It'll be fine, Deb. <laughs> and then this this again is bumped up already. I'm just going to Glue this down at an angle. Sending love. And these are the um, scrapbook.com pops of color in pale pink, whatever color. I don't know. Uh, soft pink. Pearl. Soft pink pearly color. That also looks a little crooked. And I don't know if I can fix it now. Okay. Well, anyway, there you go. Card number three. I don't have envelopes ready for these yet. All right. Card number four. I brought in a thick white card base, A2 size, which is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have that same paper. We're just going to glue that down. But before we do that, I have a white doily small white doily and we're going to do that and then just put this on and this has some white in the paper so I thought that brought out it made it pop a little bit because there's a lot of pink just pink on pink it's too much I think too much I think so I'm gonna maybe put three quarters of this on here so let's do that so anyway use your stash everyone you know, use what you have. I have had these doilies probably since 2017 or 18, because it was early 2017 when I started paper crafting, and I bought a lot of stuff at a lot of places for fairly cheap, like the uh, Miss Sparkle and Company. I used to always go in Joann's and check their um, their bins. <laughs> they had like bins along the wall. And I used to check them all the time. And I used to get, I mean, they had some decent stuff, like the doilies. And um, I remember they had ink pads and bling and little card bases or card kits or something, too. Let me get those big scissors out again. And trim off the doily. I have another partial doily in don't throw them out. You can use them on ATC cards, artist trading cards, or, you know, other projects, too. More cards. <laughs> yeah, and I think they make great backgrounds. I actually also have some doily dies, but um, I'm being lazy today. I don't feel like pulling those out when I have all these other ones to use up. Make sure, does this have glue here? Yeah. Uh, a little bit right here. 
All right, let's see how that's going to look. And do I want any washi on that too? I see I, I'll have to put that over so you can see the doily um, sticking out over here. Maybe some washi again, but we are going this way or this way or this way. I think just another stripe again with this thin one, but I think right about. here. I actually should have left a longer tail on. I ha I'm going to have an avalanche here. I just know it. <laughs> on this side. I'm going to wrap that around actually. So when I glue that down, which I'm going to do now, let's see how that looks. Should I put that here? I'm going to put it right next to it again. All right, let's glue this down. I'm trying to make quick decisions. So these will be nice for um, Valentine's cards or just um, friend cards. I love that we are friends. I made them more for Valentine's Day, but I don't really have a Valentine, so I can send them to other people just to let them know that they are thought of, right? Oops, forgot to do this part. Okay. And I think I forgot to mention in my embellishments video that this is a tag punch. I believe it is retired now too. It was the essential tag punch from Stampin' Up! I did forget to mention that and I brought out another tag punch too but I didn't end up using it just a tag topper punch I didn't use it I just used a corner rounder which was this and that was on this this tag I used the I started off using the seven millimeter but I changed it to the 10 millimeter at the top of this paper here okay let me keep the bling here. What was I fixing? Oh, this. This needs a little dabby. Little dab will do, yeah. <laughs> what was that commercial? VO5 or Aqua Velvet for Men? I don't remember. I think it was VO5. I'm not sure. You guys probably never even heard of that. <laughs> Most of you. Okay. Now... I think, where's the, let's maybe use a couple of these light dots on the background here, but I think they're going to be random. 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 And maybe just one small one close to here. I think I like that. Cute. Cute, cute. All right, that's card number something four. All right, next up, also a white uh, base. I only have two more guys. Hang with me. Um, same background, so I'm getting a lot of use out of that one sheet of paper out of the um, butterfly blooms. This one opens this way. And um, part of it was five by seven, so I used it there 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 and we're using it on this card too i think this is the last one and i probably have some scraps so this one i have a pink doily pink on pink i don't know um maybe what we'll do is we'll use a lighter washi i have this um oops it's coming all apart i have this polka dot washi Oh gosh, what a mess. <laughs> I don't know why I'm in. I have a lot of washi to use, that's why. How will that look? I don't like it. Ugh. Let me try and wind it back up real quick. 
a little bit. Let me see if I have another one that might, ooh, there's a pretty floral one in there. It has a lot of green, but, um, uh, but you know what? The floral's probably going to go the wrong way. We'll try it. We'll see. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to just do this later because it's a mess. Look, see, it all came off the roll. All right, let's look in here. This was a recollections that went with something, but I don't remember what. And it's a huge long tube. This is the one I'm thinking of, but will it look right going up and yes. I think I like that. I'm looking at, yeah. All right, we're going to do that. We're going to do the same thing we did before. Glue the, um, glue this down as soon as I find my glue. <laughs> uh, move this out of the way. Glue this down. It's a different shade of pink, but you know, it's okay. It's all right. It'll all be good. And I want about, I want it to come out pretty far. So maybe, come on glue, maybe here. Um, when I was looking for my doilies, I have another shoe box the same size full of adhesives, including some more of this I didn't know was in there. And <coughs> red, <coughs> excuse me, red uh, double-sided tape, you know, I used to get that at sometimes Tuesday morning, sometimes Dollar Tree. I don't know if Dollar Tree still sells it. I, I really haven't been looking for that kind of thing. But anyway, I have a lot of adhesive and I have another drawer somewhere that has glue bottles like of, um, I think only one art glitter glue and I think I have a berry, whatever that bear glue is. And I think I have uh, a glue that my friend Paige told me about. Oh, I just smeared that with full of glue down there. Oh, well, I will get my glue eraser. Yeah, you have to be a little more careful than I was. I kind of went a little overboard on gluing the doily and I just cut my card base. Card mat. Not my base, my mat. I cut my mat. I'm not real happy. That It's funny because that doily doesn't want to stick there. And here's where I cut my mat. Okay. It'll do, right? It'll do. Um, and then we're going to put the washi on. Now, let's see. Yeah, this way. I think I'm going to put it right along the edge. Oh, good. That'll cover up that glue. <laughs> Except there's some over here, too. Anyway, let's see. And cut that off right there. And then let's bring this in. Now this one doesn't have a sentiment. And I think this one, I'm not going to put right up against it. I'll move it over here a little bit. And this has a little black spot on that gem. Come up there. There. Okay, let's glue this down. So how do you use your embellishments? Answer me in the comments down below if you're watching this still. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, let me know. This is bumped up here. So kind of want to just make that a little straighter there. And then we'll put this all down on the white card base. I don't have a sentiment on here yet and I may not put one on. It might just be a, it might end up being like a thinking of you card. Ooh, I could do that. You know, with hearts, it doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day. It can be an anytime card. Do you like the washi on there? Let me know that in the comments too on card number one, two, three, four, five. Five out of six. One more card. Do you like the washi on card six? Do you like the washi on the other ones too? Uh, let me know that. Okay, um, again, we're gonna use some of those light colored embellishments. Let's put a big one, because there's a big one there. Hmm. Let's put one 
like here. And then we'll do a medium up here. And then we'll do a little one. Yeah, I do have one of those things and I'm not, oh, you know what? <laughs> Oh, let me fix that after I get this one out of my hands. Um, I'm going to put it up here, actually. Um, there's cat fur on that. <laughs> How did that get there? Probably because it stuck on me when I um, got sticky fingers from the glue, and there probably was a piece on here somewhere. Yeah, Callie, leaving fur. Fur's everywhere. She's been biting at her fur lately. I think it's the dry heat for the winter. There, that's that one. Cute, right? All right, one more. Let's see. This one I brought in uh, soft succulent and I cut it eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. It's going to be one of these top opening wide lateral. Now this is a piece of the Recollections um, Blush Romance paper. It's sort of a pinky purple, purpley pink, and this. Now, hmm, because there's green in here, I thought that would bring it out. I don't want to use these gems again. Um, I could put a washi across the middle here but there's a ribbon going I had one little strip of ribbon I put down on that one the other thing I could do one sec okay sorry about that I had a little coughing fit um the other thing I could do is texture this or or I have an idea I have a background stamp out here one second Put you on pause again. Okay, this is out of the I just lost it. Um, natural textures. It was a host set from some time ago. Oh, annual catalog 21 to 22. Yeah, so I'm gonna use that, and I'm just using this one. I used it on um, some of the some of these hearts but this is one I didn't out of one out of the four I didn't use it on and this is bubble bath color from Stampin Up which I think pretty closely resembles this now I'm gonna do it um, full strength and let's just start up here it just adds a faint amount without adding any um, I'm gonna over overlay 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 it without any oops any um, dimension is what I'm trying to say yeah I get the words out Deb words sometimes they are hard and they shouldn't be <laughs> now, some of this is gonna be covered up so don't worry about the middle and I will say that I have to let this dry for a minute because on this recollections paper um, it, it does, oops, it does not dry fast. And I see, I missed like the edge there. Can you see it? I have a little streak here, don't I? Okay, enough. Let's set that aside to dry for a moment. Wipe that off till I get a baby wipe here and put my ink away. Looks like a mouse chewed it. That's weird. Hmm. Anyway, I don't have a mouse in my ink because my inks are always closed. Hopefully I don't have a mouse, period. I had a problem with that about two years ago. And we had an exterminator come out and set special, like eight different special things. And they weren't a problem for a long time after that. And I'm hoping it stays that way. But we have... A farmer field sort of diagonally from my property and but now there are big dogs on either side of me and while they're not mousers I, they've told me that the, the one dog anyway does chase after mice so or scare them away I say good I hope they scare the squirrel out of my shed too 
anyway, um, I have to give this a minute, so I'll be back. All right, I used the heat gun on it, so hopefully it's dry. I don't know. I got another little blob there. Okay, let's glue this down. Maybe. And actually, I wonder, should I put it at an angle? Oh, I should have decided that before I did this. Put this whole thing and put it at an angle? No, I'll put this straight and I'll put the other thing at an angle, maybe. Um, yeah, just go like that. Let's try it at an, at an angle. Yeah, let's put that at an angle, like that. I like that. I like that. I don't know if you do, but I do. Um, anyway. Oh, gosh. Be right back. <laughs> Alrighty. Sorry about that. I had to take that call. <laughs> just everybody calling me and doing stuff today. It's just been bizarre. Anyway, that is our final card. Do you like it? And I will put white or something on the inside as well and maybe a piece of this beautiful paper the only thing in doing that that way i just noticed is this flower paper <laughs> it actually is not the fault of doing this it's the fault of when i made the embellishment the flower paper is going this way i have a look i got a little glue here i need to get off and i need to check other cards as well okay so that's card number six this was card number five. I'm not seeing any glue sticking out now on that one. Let me move this washi tape roll. This was card number four. And card number three. Six, five, four, three. Two sending loved ones. And card number two is our only five by seven. And card number one. Still not, I should have done the same thing I did with this, with the texture thing on this paper here, because it just looks too plain to me. But oh well, it is what it is. Yep. Which one is your favorite? Did you even see them all? Could I, was I in frame? I have no idea. Um, and I know I bumped this when I got onto the phone, and I, I think I fixed it, but I'm not 100% sure. This one needs to come over. Do you have a favorite? Let me know in the comments. Do you like any of them? If not, let me know why not. Um, yeah, this has been Deb. This is my new series. Hopefully it'll go a little smoother next time without interruption and coughing spells and stuff. Um, but this is my new series, Let's Use Our Embellishments, or something like that, I'll call it. I don't know. And I uh, hope you enjoyed, and it will be a regular series every month, at least once a month, after embellishments on the 11th. But I hope to do more. I was thinking of next using, um, if I can find them, I have some sort of wintry ones, I think, unless I already used them. Maybe I already used those. Oh, goody. I think I did. Okay, never mind. I don't know what my next ones will be. <laughs> but I actually have some in here using this same paper pad, like, I just found one, like this, a little twinchy, and put these hearts down. And these, they're all from the same, oh, I remember when I made these. I used, um, I can't remember if it was Globeland, these dies that are like, uh, buckles and then I have this one these were all from the same paper collection I'm using now yeah okay well anyway I might use those next because I want to use this paper at okay that's long enough thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day wonderful week stay safe we had a horrible rainstorm and windstorm and um in, on Tuesday night into Wednesday, I think it was, or Tuesday all day and part of Wednesday. Anyway, my daughter lost power on Tuesday. She did get it back, thankfully, this morning. They had told her tonight, uh, Thursday night, but they she got it back this morning, so yay. 
apparently there were people on my own street without power because our electric company was on the street today but i my power flickered and like it went off for a minute and back on and that was it i was very lucky anyway take care be safe hugs love and peace